Hi, I'm Danny Abe, executive producer of 343. Over the next couple of weeks, we're going to be showing 343 Guilty Spark at Gamescom and Halo Fest, but obviously I know everyone's not going to be able to make it out there, so I wanted to give you guys a sneak peek as well. Let's take a look. All right, so let's jump in and check it out. Hopefully by now everyone's had a chance to see the video we did of Silent Cartographer at E3. Wanted to do something a little different for Guilty Spark. We're actually going to start in classic mode. You're going to see why in a couple of seconds, but this is just a really fun level to go in at classic mode and then switch to new mode because this kind of level just really shows off how great the game looks and how much fun it is to go back and forth between the two modes. So as we go in, you're going to see this is it, right? This is Guilty Spark 10 years ago, uh, exactly as you remember it. And this was just you know, a great level for a lot of reasons, a lot of fun, there was a lot of emotion. Let's just see how technology can kind of help it out a little bit. So let's uh, go here and let's switch to new mode. Wow, I just always love doing the switch here. It's just really cool to see how far the technology has come in 10 years. So, you know, let's, let's keep going. Again, I'll just remind you as we go through that the core principle of this game was to make sure that it played exactly the same as it did 10 years ago. So while the game looks very different, it's going to feel and play exactly the same as you remember. And we get a couple of other benefits from this as well. And again, this is a great level to highlight it. This is a level that people sometimes had navigation issues with, line of sight limitations and things like that. But when we do it today, we're actually able to you know, help guide the player better than we were able to 10 years ago. As you can see, we can use lighting and things like that. Some little tricks that gamers have grown accustomed to to help work around some of the navigation issues that people have had. There's just a ton of fun. There's a million spots here that's so much fun to go back and forth and just see how far the game has come. As we go to the pistol, uh, which is again, something else we talked about at E3 and something people are really excited about. We've gotten a lot of questions around, will I be able to use it in multiplayer? And that's something people have been asking about for a long time. The answer is yeah, you're gonna be able to use the Magnum in multiplayer. Part of the title update we've been talking about is going to enable us to have the player select the Magnum and use that in multiplayer. So you're finally gonna be able to take the Magnum into multiplayer and start blowing your friends away with it. It's just a blast. So I think people are gonna be really excited about that. The other one we're going to be announcing, although we're not going to be able to show it to you in a video, but I do want you guys to let you know it's out there, 3D mode. So if you've got a 3D TV, we will be supporting it. You will have the opportunity to play it, and it looks fantastic. Obviously, that'll just be in new mode because 3D tech didn't exist 10 years ago, but it really adds to the immersion of the experience, and we did want to support people that have that technology. So hopefully you guys will get a chance to check that out. The other big thing we're going to be showing at Gamescom is a terminal video. With classic mode, terminals is something that people got really excited about at E3. And again, a reminder for people, terminals made their debut in Halo 3, a, a nice little Easter egg for people to find new elements of the story. We wanted to take a different approach and really take terminals to the next level and make them even better. We showed a trailer at E3, but at Gamescom we're actually going to be showing the first terminal video and it just looks spectacular. So we're really excited about that as well. So there it is. Hope you guys enjoyed it and thanks for checking it out. Just a reminder, Halo Anniversary ships November 15th of this year.